What's going on everyone? It's Corbin with World of HVAC and today I'm going to show you how to take apart this blower housing. Okay, so first things first, you're going to remove it from the furnace or air handler and you're going to end up with this. Probably a capacitor, you got the motor, the full housing, the wheel, and you're all good to go. So the first thing you want to do is set it on the side where you have access to the shaft and set screw. That's going to be this little thing right here and this is your set screw. The first thing I like to do is sand down the shaft. This one has a lot of rust on it, and when you go to pull it off, it's gonna make it extremely difficult because of all the friction it adds. Once the shaft is smooth, you're gonna to wanna to take and undo the set screw. Grab a crescent wrench, set it on there, righty tighty, lefty loosey. You don't have to take it all the way out, you can just take it out a little bit. So make sure you don't lose it. Next up, you're gonna wanna take some WD-40 or some air crawl and spray it on the shaft. I personally like the air crawl. It really, really works. Now that the shaft is taken care of, you wanna flip it over. Now this side is pretty straightforward. You're gonna need to remove your ground and your four motor mount bolts. So mostly quarter inch screw for this one. I like to put that right back in. This one just so happens to be 3 eighths, so I'm gonna knock that out. So now that you have the mount taken off, you can easily just undo. You can easily just undo the motor and you have the motor and the wheel separate from the housing itself. Now the first thing I like to do when I have it flipped over and the motor is on the bottom is take the sucker and shake it and see if the motor comes out. That time it did, but I'm gonna show you what happens if it doesn't come out and the shaft is a little seized. So luckily, that time it wasn't seized, but if it is, I always grab my fan puller. First things first when you find yourself in this position is take the set screw out and put it in your pocket. Do not lose that. Now you're gonna take your fan puller, set it in there, and look through these little holes to see exactly where you are center over the shaft. Once you have that lined up where you need to go, you're gonna tighten down these three nuts until it's solid over just the shaft. Once you get it far enough, the motor should just pop right out. Now at this point, if your only goal is to replace the motor, go for it. But I'm gonna take a step further and take out the wheel. So taking the wheel out is pretty simple. It doesn't come out of the hole just like that. Some of them you have to take this plate out. Some of them you just have to remove screws on this side and pull it out. This one you have to take it out. And there you go. So at this point, you can either replace the wheel if you bought a new one because it's damaged. You can take it outside and clean it up because they get pretty dirty and set it out in the sun and let it dry. I'm not gonna clean this one, but I am gonna put it back together real quick. So follow along. Alright, so at this point, all you have to do is replace the capacitor, slide it into whatever unit you were working on, go wire for wire with all your speed taps, and you're good to go. If this video helped you out, please hit the like button down below so that others can find the information that helped you out in the future. And if you really like this video, please hit the subscribe button to join the World of HVAC community and be part of all the videos that are coming out in the future for homeowners, technicians, and awesome tools. Y'all have a great day.